Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's episode, I wanted to show you something really interesting. And that is this little lighter. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys this lighter is because uh, a viewer commented on my Zippo Slim uh, video saying that this looks kind of small because of my big hands. And uh, actually I had a bit of a laugh about it. That was kind of pretty funny. I don't know why that was <laughs> had me laughing for some time, but yes, this is a Zippo Slim. It just looks a bit small when when I'm holding it, I guess. Uh, to, for comparison, this is a regular Zippo, and here is my little miniature Zippo. I just wanted to showcase. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have a brand, and when you open it, I mean it's not really a Zippo, of course, so it doesn't have a chimney. But it has a little sparker. Uh, I haven't filled. I've never fueled this up. Of course, I, this is strictly my uh, collectible lighter, and I bought this from a secondhand store. I believe it was three years ago. I'm, I might be mistaken. I don't remember how much it was. It must have been like probably ten bucks or so. I saw it in, in the little showcase, and I thought I gotta have it. It's got a little keychain. You can hang it. And I thought maybe I'd, I'd show it to you, uh, show it to my viewers, have you guys see. If, if you've seen something like this, let me know in the comments below. Um, I think this is pretty interesting. And But believe it or not, this is not my smallest lighter. There is one that's even smaller than this. And I'm going to show it to you right now. If you can, if you already like this video so far, give me a thumbs up and... So I can show you the smallest lighter that I own, and that is this one, that is even smaller than these. Now, to even show you as a scale, I mean, of course, I have my green mat. Here's a little uh, Duracell battery, which is one of the most common, if not the most common, battery in the world. And you can see it next to them. It is just small. These, these guys are not, you know, they're, they're tiny. And this one actually has a name, and I'll show you right now. On the bottom, if the camera will focus, it says, uh, come on, focus, Continental New York. But it says over here, made uh, Japan, so I'm assuming it's made in Japan. And when I looked up on, online, uh, this is tight. This is where you would open up to fuel the uh, wick and the lid. Let me get it to focus here. This is like a little lift arm it would open up and this is your wick and you would spark it like that. I don't want to spark it too much but again I haven't fueled this one either. These were from the 50s and they also had a little keychain, little chain that would hang off but I don't have that on this lighter. Thinking back I bought this lighter also from a second hand store like a antique shop similar to this to the to the tiny lighter and uh, so I'm assuming at some point in time the the chain must have you know cut loose or it fell off and uh, yeah so this one doesn't have its chain online I've seen also pictures of these with leather wrapped around them to make them look more stylish this one's just chrome plated and the chrome plating is washing off a little bit here but that's no big deal it's it's a little collector it's just the tiniest cutest lighter there is <laughs> and these are part of my miniature series uh, just these two and I'm looking to see if I could find any more of course uh, they're really cool this little guy kind of reminds me of my presto lighter um, again also a antique shop find I, I do a lot of sometimes I don't want to say a lot of antiquing but whenever I see one and there's time I might go in to see if they have any interesting lighters most of the times you'll have just a few zippos and nothing too extraordinary but but these these were interesting enough for me to buy and these are my miniatures if you think it's if you think these uh, lighters are cool let me know if you if you know anything more about these the history of these lighters that'd be also interesting if you could share it down below um, consider subscribing if you like this video and uh, I will see you next time. Have a good day.